morning. Faster dog here. And I'm out here. Let me get some uh, off the... Uh, oh, there we are. I'm out here. And I'm uh, spraying an organic orchard. And you go, well, how can you spray an organic orchard? That don't even make sense. Well, what we're using is peroxide. We use peroxide after we prune in order to uh, keep the trees from getting bacteria in the same way you pour peroxide on yourself to uh, to clean the wounds. So that's what we're doing. But we do that every year. We use peroxide. We also use the old uh, grease out of our turkey cooker as an, uh, as an oil spray. So, but we're doing something different this year. Let me see if I can get one there. Where is it? How do we get that? There we go. If you look around here, there's uh, old pop bottles and water bottles and every kind of bottle I can find or borrow from everybody's blue box in town. And these are used as traps. If you look at them, they got a couple of holes in them. And they've got uh, some molasses in them to use as bait and then they're just filled up with water and the, the idea is that the uh, the codling moth which is the absolute enemy of all apple farmers will uh, crawl in there because it'll like the smell of the molasses and then it'll get trapped and drowned and that got me thinking about oh well, there's a codling moth right there oh well, maybe he'll get caught no he's on the ground Oh, well, yeah, there's, they're around. I don't like those things. Anyways, it got me thinking about uh, about life and, and sin and, and how sin is a trap. And it starts out smelling good. It smells sweet. There's something attractive that, that gets, you, gets you into it. And then you see we got some cherries in blossom here. Get those in the, the shot. Yeah. So you get in there and then you find yourself trapped and you find that it's deadly. This is, this is true for all people, but it's especially true for young men because young men think that they can live forever. Young men are undeadable and they rush into things. And they get themselves trapped and then they're stuck. But you don't have to be stuck for life. Unlike these common moths, they're gonna die in their, in their, in their trap. You can come out. When you repent and you call to Jesus, he'll help you out. But then what? Well, then you got to join a group of people to help keep you out of it. And we call those groups the church or a fellowship or something like that. So I encourage you to find a group. And if you don't have a group, you can come hang out with us. We meet at 10 o'clock on Sunday mornings in the uh in the old school in st williams but we also meet in other places at other times because church doesn't just take place on sunday morning it takes place all week long so if you're looking for some believers to meet with you can come there and meet us or you can come to one of our events we got a heat shooting event coming up in june we've got a gardening event and barbecue coming up later this month or you can just leave a comment send me a message and we'll get together and you can come hang out here in the orchard and I don't know help me prune trees or something and we'll talk about life and we'll talk about Jesus so if you're looking for a place to grow come check us out if you're looking for gardening tips or orchard tips well you can, you can give me a call for that too all right remember real men love their families real men marry their girlfriends and love their wives and raise their children real men love jesus all right we'll see you next time